Parot these are the two parietal bones. This is the occipital bone, back here the blue one. This is the frontal bone. The brown bone here is the temporal bone. The red one is the sphenoid bone. And we will look at structures on each of those. Look here first at the occipital bone. This is the occipital bone back here. These are the occipital condyles. This large hole here is the foramen magnum. And this bump back here on the back of the head is the external occipital protuberance. On the frontal bone, you have this kind of V here in between where your eyebrows are. This is going to be for muscle attachment. It's called the glabella. You have the supraorbital foramen. You can see it here. It's kind of right here. And then you have the supraorbital margin here. On the temporal bone, this brown bone here, you can see several structures on the white skull also. You see the mastoid process, the sphenoid process, I'm sorry, mastoid process, the styloid process. This hole in between those two processes is called the stylomastoid foramen. This large hole here, you can look at it here, this is the jugular foramen. And this hole located here is the carotid foramen or the carotid canal. This is when the carotid artery passes through. This is the mandibular fossa where the mandible fits in. You have the ear canal here. This is the external acoustic meatus. Turn it over to look inside of the skull. If you have your external acoustic meatus, you have this hole here, and you have one on this side also. These are the internal acoustic meatus. And the last structure on the temporal bone is this zygomatic process. The zygomatic process reaches far the zygomatic bone. Look here on the colored skull also. This is the temporal bone. This is the zygomatic process because it's reaching for the zygomatic bone. Okay, let's look at the sphenoid bone. This is the sphenoid bone. This is the anterior view of the sphenoid bone. These are the greater wings of the sphenoid. They're going to be on the lateral side of the skull that you can see it in red here on this side. You have the lesser wings located here. You have these holes located here and here. The optic a nerve passes through those, so that, that's the optic foramen. And then this saddle structure located here is the cella tersica. Okay, let's look at our ethmoid bone. This is the ethmoid bone. This is um, probably the bone that is the least like its real counterpart because it's plastic. This structure located here that's rising in the top is the Cristagalli. This is the um, in, this is the anterior portion of the bone, but this is the superior portion of the bone. Talk it around. This is the Cristagalli. This structure here is called the cribiform plate. And on the cribiform plate, you have a lot of little bitty holes here that just look more like indentions on this bone, but those are the olfactory foramina. If you pick up the bone, these structures here where my fingers are, those are going to be the parts of, you see them right here, the yellow part here of your um, orbit, that is the superior nasal concha. This structure here is the perpendicular plate and in real life it's actually about a fourth of an inch longer because it's going to help make up your nasal septum. The folds in between your superior nasal concha and your perpendicular plate are the middle nasal concha. So on this bone you have to know the Cristagalli, the cribiform plate, the olfactory foramina, the superior nasal concha, where the butt fingers are right now, the perpendicular plate, and the middle nasal concha. Okay, let's look at the sutures of the skull. The sutures are joints of the skull. This is the coronal suture located here. This is the squamous suture located here, around the temporal bone. This is the sagittal suture that is going to be between the two parietal bones. And look on the back where the occipital bone is. This is the lambdoid suture. If you look at the baby skull, or the fetus skull, you have several soft spots. 
and the two major soft spots are going to be named after the bone that's associated with them. Both of them are associated with the parietal bone. So this soft spot here, or this fontanelle, is called the frontal or the anterior fontanelle. This one located here is, lo is named the occipital or the posterior fontanelle because it's part of the occipital bone, or it's located near the occipital bone. Okay, next we want to look at the bones of the face. The bones of the face are going to be in this area here. This large purple bone is the maxilla. On it you have the infraorbital foramen underneath each eye. You have the palatine process. If you look under here, you have your upper jaw basically is what it is. That is next to the palatine bone. This is your palatine foramen. And the incisive foramen is the hole in between these two incisors here. Remember that the foramen are better on a lot of your white skulls. So you can see that incisive foramen right here much better. Okay, the mandible. I'm going to take this white skull and fit the mandible in like this right here to show you that the mandibular condyle fits into the mandibular fossa that we've already gone over earlier. So this structure here is the mandibular condyle. This is the coronoid process and this raised portion here. Pull it back this way so I don't have that white background. There we go. This is the mandibular condyle. This is the coronoid process. And this raised portion here is the ramus. Then you have two holes that you need to know on there. In the front here, you have your mental area and you have your mental foramen on each side. And then if you look on the inside portion of the bone, you have your mandibular foramen here and here on the opposite side. Okay, then you have individual bones that you need to know. The inferior nasal concha. If you look here on this bone, you look inside the nasal cavity, this is the inferior nasal concha. That is kind of confusing because you have your superior and middle nasal concha as a part of your ethmoid bone, if you remember it being on your ethmoid bone. But your inferior nasal concha are a separate bone. You have the vomer bone, which is this other little V-shaped bone here that makes up your nasal septum also. The palatine bone, we looked at it here, underneath where their palatine process is. You have the lacrimal bone. If you look in there, um, eye, or eye orbit, you have this orange bone here. It's the lacrimal bone. And the zygomatic bone, the, orange, the yellowish bone here. Okay, the sinuses. The sinuses are named after the bones that they're going to be in. Sinuses are just spaces. So in this bone here, you have your frontal sinuses, in your maxilla, you have your maxillary sinuses. In the ethmoid bone, you have your ethmoidal sinuses. And in the sphenoid bone, located here, if you did a, a cut here into the bone, you would see a big space in here. So that would be your sphenoidal sinuses.